accurate, critical infrastructure information. It is an essential resource for national preparedness. And yet, it's not always available to those who need it to keep America safe. The critical infrastructure information is crucial for us to have. If you don't have meaningful data that is customer focused that you can actually use in your protection planning, um, you really only have half the picture. State and local governments are most likely to be the first responders in the event of an incident. And so they've got to be able to, to understand those businesses and those facilities and know what their security vulnerabilities are. Because a large majority of our nation's critical infrastructure is privately owned, the data needed for national preparedness is sometimes sensitive or proprietary to that private company. Information shared with the federal, state, and local governments could become public record, so businesses and organizations are often hesitant to provide their data. The concerns that private businesses have about giving information to the government is that it might be disclosed by the government to someone else. A program within the Department of Homeland Security's Office of Infrastructure Protection bridges this gap. Known as the PCII program, DHS created the Protected Critical Infrastructure Information Program as a result of the Critical Infrastructure Information Act of 2002. PCII offers protections to enhance the flow of information between the private sector and the government. We are creating a partnership whereby the private sector knows if they give us this information that we are partners in, in creating a plan for a response. PCII provides a bridge uh, in terms of information sharing between the public and the private sector in that it provides the private sector the protections that they would expect. Essentially, critical infrastructure information that is voluntarily submitted and validated by DHS as PCII cannot be obtained by making a request under the Freedom of Information Act or other similar state and local disclosure laws. Additionally, the information is protected against use in civil litigation or in regulatory actions. Now companies and associations can share information that's sensitive, proprietary, and timely with the government so they can engage the government partner in helping to build protective measures. Procedural safeguards ensure that all users of PCII have homeland security responsibilities, a need to know that information, and have completed training on handling PCII. Both sides understand that we are focusing only on security, and we are focusing on the information that we need for that security, either the planning on the front or the response on the other end. PCII protections assist public-private partnerships through assurances, assurances that the right information is seen by the right eyes and is used for the right reasons.